with Veronica Pullen and uh, I'm coming to you today from Birmingham where yesterday I spent the whole day with Nigel Bosteril and a room full of about 600 business owners at the National Entrepreneur Circle event and one of the things that we were talking about yesterday was feedback and the importance of only listening to the right people. Um, if if you've created a piece of marketing or you're thinking of doing something this way or you're think of, thinking of creating a promotion, you've recorded a video, you want to write a book and you tell people, you tell somebody, probably the first people you'll tell are your family. And how often do you get negative feedback from them? Because it's quite common for your family and your closest friends to see the worst, to see the downsides of everything that you want to do. And if you hear that a lot, it can actually reduce how confident you feel about yourself and about the uh, business that you're in. And you start to, to doubt yourself. And so the message that I want you to think about today is who are you listening to that is holding you back? Who are the people who are offering you their constructive criticism or constructive feedback that is actually a, a cloak and dagger negative thought process? Because don't always assume that other people have got the same agenda for you as you have for yourself and it happens to me quite often and the further you put yourself out there the more likely you are to get criticism and you know just as an example when I wrote my first ebook the free ebook that's on my website that you can download at veronicapullen.co.uk when I first put that on my website I received two or three emails from people really criticising me about how dare I do this and why did I think, why would I think I was such an expert and people don't want to hear about what I've got to say and nobody wants to, you know, and it's just, and when I actually looked at the people who were saying this, they weren't successful people in their own right, they, uh were people who weren't satisfied, let's say, with their own life. And so what they were doing was projecting their uh, bad feelings about themselves onto me. And so I chose at that point, it was quite a harsh lesson because you do hear it, you do hear that negative criticism, but I made the choice not to listen. And so now I only listen to people who I know are successful. I know are actually telling me giving me their uh, critique for the right reason. And they're, you know, that's my mentor. It's the same that I do for my clients who are in my mentoring programme. They know that when I tell them that something is good or bad, I'm saying it from a position of support and love and progress for their own business. I want them to progress. So next time you hear your mum or your dad or your brothers or your sisters or your closest friend telling you that this isn't right, that what you're doing is not right, or is bad, or what have you, just ask yourself, what position are they coming from? What is their agenda for you? And do they have negative feelings about their own life that they might be projecting onto you that is holding you back, okay? Because you know that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, and I take that one step further. You're the average of the five people who you listen to the most. Are the five people that you are listening to the most super successful? Are they already making uh, serious money in the business that you want to be in? If they're not, your average diminishes down to the level of the people who you are listening to, who may still be employees. Because if... It, if if they haven't had the confidence to take that leap themselves from leaving a job into running a business, why are they suddenly an expert in your business? So just think about that. The next time somebody criticises you or has a little pop at you, are they there? Are they supporting you or are they projecting their own insecurities 
onto you. So be careful who you listen to. And if you want to join my mentoring program, hop over to the hyphen social hyphen expert.com and come and join the tribe where you get support and mentoring from me to learn how to use social media to position yourself as an expert and have your ideal client queuing up to work for you. So I'll see you over there again very soon. Bye.